guys welcome back to my channel today's video is just kind of gonna be a day in the life um, I have some different things that I want to do I need to unbox a package that I got I need to wrap up our kids advent calendars the kids are gonna decorate their little mini Christmas trees in their rooms and I'm gonna cook dinner tonight so I figured I would bring you guys along with me I am totally getting into the Christmas spirit and um, I just want to share that with you guys so thanks for watching and let's get into my day Okay guys, I have something super exciting that I wanna share with you guys today. So I just went outside and there was a package waiting for me at my door and it was this amazing nugget ice maker from Getty. And I'm so excited about this. I feel like Christmas has come early for me. And this is like going to be my favorite Christmas gift ever. Um, I have wanted a nugget ice maker for forever. Nugget ice is my favorite. It's like the kind of ice that they have at Chick-fil-A and Sonic. Sonic drinks are my favorite, but we don't have one anywhere near here. And I love ice cold drinks. I drink pretty much ice cold water all day long. I like ice in my soda. I even like ice in like orange juice and stuff. I just love ice cold drinks. And so I'm always filling up my tumbler cups with ice and the ice from our freezer. It's just, you know, like regular ice cubes, but nugget ice is superior. And it's so amazing. And I've always wanted one of these. And they're super popular right now because I've seen them all over TikTok, all over YouTube, all over Instagram. And now I have one and I'm just like, oh, Christmas, so excited. Um, so this one is from Gabby, like I said, and they have partnered with me for this video. Um, and this is a really amazing product. I'm super excited. I'm gonna unbox it, set it up, show you all of that. Um, but this one is just a countertop nugget maker. So it's really easy to use. It doesn't attach to your fridge or your freezer or anything like that. It just sits on your countertop and makes ice so you always have the perfect crunchy nugget ice whenever you want it. And they have been so kind as to give me a coupon code. They have Black Friday deals going on right now and then they've given me an additional coupon code. So if you've been in the market for a nugget ice maker, definitely go check that out. I'm going to have the link in my description box. Um, this is also a great Christmas present if you want to send to your hubby, like a little hint hint, or to get for your mom, sister, whoever. This is amazing and I am so excited. So let's open this up and show you guys. that beautiful nugget ice oh my gosh. I love it nugget ice is the best so as you can see down below is the water reservoir so you just pour your water in um, down in there and there is a max fill line right there it says max so you just don't want it to come above this edge here um, but it just super easy to use you just dump the water in there push the on button and then it does its thing and that's how much ice that it has made already started making ice probably i can hear it when the ice drops probably within 25 ish minutes of when i put water in there um so that's awesome another thing the box said that it can make up to 28 pounds of ice a day which is really cool so um, it also said that when you fill it up, it will keep making ice until this bucket is full. So if the bucket fills, it has like an auto um, shut off that will stop it from making ice. So, you know, you won't get this massive buildup of ice. And then as soon as you take some out and use some, it'll start making it again. So we're going to fill up my cup. I got my trusty um, tumbler here. Let's fill it up. I'm so excited. And it comes with this cute little scoop too. Look at this nugget ice. Oh yeah. I love it. Now, like I said, 
I like to drink ice water, but it's also really good in soda or tea or whatever you want to make. Any type of drink. So good. So let's see how much of this it takes to fill up my... I don't fill it all the way up, but a little bit of ice. But look at the nugget ice. It's so good. I love it so much. This is so fun. Let's throw these two pieces into my thing. This is definitely, like I said, the best early Christmas gift that I could ever get. <laughs> it's the little things. It's the little things that make us so excited as adults, right? It's like the appliances and that kind of stuff. But anyways, I do love the look of this um, ice maker because it's white and it kind of has like this goldish chrome um, accenting and it's just very sleek. There's not a lot of buttons. These buttons are like a touch screen. They don't like stick out any um, and it's just very sleek and shiny um, and it just looks so nice. I love it. I haven't see quite seen a ice maker like in this white color or that looks as sleek and modern as this. So I am loving this so much and I'm super excited about it. So huge shout out to Gabby for um, gifting me this ice maker. Like I said, I do have a coupon code, great deals going on for Black Friday. So go check them out if you are looking for an ice maker. All right, so now that I got my water, the next thing I wanted to show you guys was which advent calendars I picked for my kids this year. Um, we're gonna go stay at my dad's house for Thanksgiving, like stay there. Um, and then as soon as Thanksgiving is over, we are like full on in the Christmas spirit and there's a lot going on. Um, I have so much to do next week. I have like two doctor's appointments, just like, you know, regular checkup stuff. Um, and then between my husband working and stuff at church and just all the things, all the kids extracurricular activities, Life is going to be crazy. So while I had a minute today, I wanted to go ahead and wrap the kids' advent calendars so that if that's just done and I don't have to think about it, I like to wrap them. It's just fun for them to be able to like unwrap it. That's part of the whole fun of Christmas to me is watching the kids like unwrap their stuff. And so I give them their advent calendars on December 1st. So I wanted to go ahead, wrap them, get that done with. And then I was just gonna show you guys um, what kind of advent calendars I got for them. And I just think advent calendars are so fun. Like, it, well, that wasn't really a thing when I was a kid. Like, I didn't, I think we had like a little felt one that like you just moved the marker every day. And it was more of like a countdown to Christmas type thing. Um, but the advent, they literally have an advent calendar for everything these days. And they're just so fun. I, for the last two years, um, I've gotten like a coffee, like the K-Cups one for myself. And I love it. I love opening it every day and seeing what flavor coffee I get. Um, and so I've been looking like the last two years, I've gotten a Keurig brand one and I can't find that one, but I was at Target the other day and they had like their own Target brand, like that Good and Gather brand. They had one of those. So I might go back this week and pick that up again um, if since I can't find that Keurig one. But anyways, for the kids, they have such fun ones. And the advent calendars, they can be kind of pricey. It just depends. But I am a part of a Facebook group on Facebook. I think it's called Bargain Sisters, I think. But anyways, it's this group of women that find like these amazing Amazon deals and they just post them all day long in the group and it's all sorts of stuff. Um, and I love that group because they started posting advent calendar deals back in like August. And so I got one of these in August. I think I got two of them in September. Like they just, all of these I got from Amazon and I got them for good deals. So for me, I think it's worth it since it comes with 24 items. So this is the first one. This is for my daughter who is nine and it's a Disney Dorables um, advent calendar. So it has 24 little mystery figures. So every day you unwrap one. Here's what it looks like when you open it up. And it's just so fun, but she loves the Disney Dorables. She already collects them. So I thought that this was perfect. And some of them are like Christmas themed. So that's really fun too. Um, but that is just so cute. So that's the one I got for her. And then the other two that I got are Funko Pop advent calendars. And Funko Pops are kind of expensive. They're a collectible item and they can be pricey, but I got both of these really great deals on Amazon. This one is a Star Wars one. This is actually for my four-year-old. She, no lie, 
is obsessed with Star Wars. Like it's the most hilarious thing. My husband loves Star Wars and his entire family loves Star Wars. Um, and our older two kids like could kind of care less. They don't really care. But our four year old is so into it. Like she knows all the characters names. She knows the theme song. She knows all the facts and she just loves it. And it's adorable because she's this girly little girl and she's so into Star Wars. So I found this Funko Pop Star Wars advent calendar and I knew she was she's going to freak out. So it has 24 different Funko Pops and here's and they're like the little mini ones. And so here's what it looks like when you open it. Um, and how cute is this? Like, look at that. Hold on. Let me get it close. Look at their outfits. Like they they hold candy canes instead of lightsabers. And like, look at Darth Vader, y'all. This is adorable. This is a Christmas themed. It's so cute. She's going to love it. So that's for her. And then for my son, I found the superhero, um, DC superhero Funko Pop calendar. And so it's the same type of thing. The little um, characters are Christmas themed. Look at them. How cute. They're all Christmas themed. That's so fun. Um, and then I've been looking for an advent calendar for my husband, but I can't find anything like good that he will like. And I have, you know, I have another couple days left, so maybe I can find something. But I did find this one for my dad. And you guys know, those of you who are like my regular subscribers here, Y'all know that we lost my mom to cancer this summer. And um, so, you know, this is all of our first holidays without her. And so it's kind of rough. But my dad especially, like, I have a very, I don't know, I feel like I am now kind of in charge of him in a way. <laughs> um, just like, almost like a maternal instinct. But I just want to make sure that he's okay and that he still has a good Christmas. Even, you know, obviously he'll miss her and we all will. But... I've been trying to think of like things that I can do for him to make it like extra special for him. So I am, I always do my husband a stocking. And so I'm doing my dad a stocking this year also, almost with all the same types of things that I'm putting in my husband's with the, um, a few things are going to be a little bit different. They like most of the same things, but a few things are going to be different. So I'm doing a stocking for him this year. And then I wanted to get him an advent calendar also because I thought, that would just bring a little bit of joy to his Christmas season to get to open it every day, you know, whatever. Um, so he loves to do puzzles and he's really good at them and he loves them. So I found a puzzle advent calendar. This is so cool. It is so stinking cool. So every day you have a different um, box that you open and it's like a little mini puzzle. Um, and then at the end of the 24 days on Christmas Eve, after you've completed all 24 mini puzzles, they all fit together to make this one big puzzle. And I thought that that was so cool and I thought that he would really enjoy it because he can set it up. He has like a sunroom at his house that he can set up a table and just leave this out there and every day complete a little bit. And I just thought it'd be fun, something he can do in the morning when he's drinking his morning tea or whatever um, to start his day with. I just thought that that was so cool and I didn't even know that they made puzzle ones like this so I think he's really gonna like it I hope he is but like I said I'm trying to be a good daughter and just um you know help him have as much joy as he can this Christmas season so those are our advent calendars and now I'm going to wrap them um so y'all come along with me as I do that
kids just came up from the basement and they found something under the tree. I think this one's mine. <laughs> this is mine. And I said we have to wait to open them, but you can look at them. Well, yeah, this this one's, one's for Doc. <laughs> yep. I think that one is so big. I wonder what it is. <laughs> I wish I could just open it's it. It's a karate boy. Well, we have to wait a few more days. This might be a yeah. This might be an early present. Wait, what do you mean? Might be an early present. When are you gonna open them? We'll have to see. Wait, when? Maybe on the first day of December. What do you think? Should we open it on the first day of December? Yes. 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 All right, let's put them back under there, please. Nice and neat, like I had them. Thank you. In a couple more days, on the first day of December, when I change my calendar, on that first day. How many days? I'm not exactly sure how many more days, but not too many. Not too many. Not too many. Okay, I told y'all I was in the Christmas spirit. We went into Walmart the other day, and they actually had a really cute selection of Christmas clothes. So we got a few things I want to show you real quick. So the first thing is for my hubby. It is a like a fleece sweater with the nutcracker and says, let's get cracking. Um, and the coolest thing is it lights up. Let me see if I can switch it on. The switch is right here, like on the underneath. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to wash this. I need to figure that out before he wears it. But okay, there we go. Look at this, you guys. How fun is that? That is so funny. He can't wait to wear it. <laughs> So we got that one. And then for Lawson, our son, we found this one that just says Holly Jolly Dude and is cute. And it was only $5.98. Like their prices on their Christmas clothes were really good. Let me see if my hubby's still has his tag in it. Oh, yep, there it is. Um, okay, $14.98 for this light up sweatshirt, which is pretty good. And then for Ellie, our youngest, I found this cute little let it snow with the penguin and then it came with or it didn't come with but I got these little leggings that I thought they match maybe they do I don't know I thought there was a penguin on them <laughs> you guys see a penguin oh there it is okay yeah so it does match so the penguin matches that penguin it's like the same so I thought that that was really cute and the leggings were $5.98 and I think the shirt was also $5.98 so those are the things that we picked up. I did not find anything for Emery, our nine-year-old, and I didn't find anything for myself. Now, I already have a Chris Christmas sweater from last year that I like. So, um, but anyways, that's just a heads up. If you go to Walmart, check it out. They have really cute stuff and the prices are good if you want to get something festive, if you're going to any parties or you just want to be in the spirit. But this is so funny. But seriously, I need to figure out if I can take this thing out, unattach it to wash it. I don't know. Seems complicated, but it's really cute. <laughs> okay, these are the trees for the kids room. The girls have one and then our son has one. And I just got these from Target um, a couple years ago and they're three feet trees and they already have lights on them and they just they were cheap and they work great um for like kids bedroom or an office or whatever they're super easy to put together but I'm just gonna set it up and kind of fluff it and get it ready and then I'll let the kids um decorate them because they have like some little tiny ornaments or some more like I don't know ornaments that people have given them or whatever that I don't put on our big tree I keep it for um, oh, there's a piece, for their room tree just so they can have something special. So all you have to do, it comes with these three pieces that you just snap in to the base here. And um, it's super easy if I can remember how to do it. Um, like I said, easy to put together. That is like the stand. So that's all that you have to do. And it just snaps in and then we're going to flip it over and I got to find the plug and we're going to plug it in and hopefully all the lights work. That's the only thing with this type of thing is you're always hoping that all of the, oh, yay, we have success. And there's one of the ornaments that must have, we must have missed last year. So it looks like all the lights are working. So now I'm just going to fluff it a little bit um, and then they can decorate it. Fire's burning bright And the snow is falling down Honey, won't you need In your arms that hope disappears Cause when I'm feeling down Yeah, the two love me right Nothing compares to this It's such a bliss My only wishes I don't need any presents Cause I know I have 
it is now 4 30 i'm about to get dinner started here's what we're having tonight sloppy joe's using good old manwich along with some mini tater tots i don't know why they're mini but we're gonna try them out i um it was a substitution in one of my grocery hauls if you guys saw that a few weeks ago so I decided that they were the perfect thing to have with Sloppy Joe's. So I know it's 4.30. Um, we, usually, we eat early here in our household because our children go to bed early. Our kids go to bed between 7 and 7.30 usually um, because they wake up at the crack of dawn. Even our nine-year-old, she begs us to let her stay up later. And there have been occasions where she's gotten to stay up later and she still wakes up like with the sun and then she's cranky. So... Our kids are just early to bed, early to rise. That's just that's just how they are. And we're fine with that. So we eat dinner early. The kids go to bed early. And then it's, it's actually pretty nice because me and my husband get a couple hours of quieter time that we can either spend together or we can veg out and chill and relax without anybody needing us. So it all works out and it's pretty nice. But yeah, I've been thawing out the ground beef that I had in the freezer um, I have some good, yummy artisano buns that we're going to use, and it's going to be a super simple, easy dinner tonight. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach with our free. Isn't that amazing in Christmas times? We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the windows in the rain is pouring, it will always be Christmas in my heart. But this year, I want to hang out with my friends and family. Okay guys, I gotta go clean this up and get these kids to bed, but thanks for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate you watching my video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, I'd love to have you subscribe. I have a lot more Christmassy content coming because like I said, I'm totally in the spirit. But I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Good, good time.